Good day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. So overnight we got a whole slew of firmware updates for many different products, including the Air 2S, the DJI RC, the RC Pro, and even the Mini 3. However, in this video we're just going to be focusing on the Air 2S and some of the new features and updates, including the biggest one that it is now compatible with the DJI RC. This is something that a lot of people have been waiting for. To get everything updated, there's actually two different steps we need to do. We need to update the firmware with the Air 2S, and we need to update the firmware with the DJI RC. And just due to the non-compatibility up until now, we can't use the DJI RC to update the Air 2S firmware. We do have to update it first using the RCN1. Of course, you can use a computer, use the DJI Assistant 2 app if that's your preferred method. So to get the firmware updated, you're just going to update it like normal. Power on the RCN1 controller and the Air 2S and just go ahead and update the firmware like normal. And just as a side note, there is a firmware update for the Air 2S batteries as well. All you have to do is once everything is updated, power off the drone, put in a new battery, turn it on, and you'll notice right away that it says firmware update. You can just hit update and that will go ahead and update the firmware on the batteries. The next thing we're gonna to have to do is update the firmware on the DJI RC. When you power it on, you're gonna make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi. With the DJI RC, you do have to do that manually. It may pop up on the screen right away that there's a firmware update waiting. If not, you can just go into settings and there's an option there where you can check for firmware updates and then go ahead and update it like normal. Once you have the firmware on the Air 2S updated and the RC updated, then we can go ahead and bind them together for the first time. So to do so, make sure your DJI RC is powered on. We'll go ahead and we're gonna power on our Air 2S. So what we're gonna do is press this connection guide button down at the bottom. From here, we can select what aircraft we wanna to connect to. And as we scroll along, you can see we now have the Air 2S listed, which wasn't before. We can select it. And at this point, it's going to ask us to install some firmware. Every time you switch between aircrafts, it has to update the firmware because there's different firmware that runs in the controller for every aircraft. This is something you'll have to do when you switch back and forth. If you go back to the Mini 3, the Mavic 3, or the Air 2S, you just get this little piece of software that you need to install. You don't have to be connected to Wi-Fi to do this. It's stored internally. It's pretty quick. It only takes about 20 seconds. You can see we get this message that the firmware has been updated. Now at this point, what we're going to do is click on this option at the bottom. It says unable to connect to aircraft. Basically, that's going to launch the pairing mode. So we click on pair. And then we're going to press and hold the power button on the Air 2S until we hear a beep. Just like that there. And it should go ahead and pair. And there we go. So as you can see, everything should work. And of course we have full control of the gimbal. So everything is now paired correctly. Now, another interesting thing that they added during this firmware update is the ability to change the Expo curve settings when in Cine Smooth mode. Up until this point, we could only do it for normal and sport mode. As you can see in this screenshot here, the only two modes that we can adjust the expo settings are in normal and sport mode. But now if we go to our settings, we go to control, we scroll down until we see advanced. You can see now we have the option for cine mode, which wasn't there before. So that's definitely a nice addition. And with this update, they also added a new feature called fly share and allows you to transfer files directly from the controller wirelessly over to something like a smartphone or a tablet. I am going to make a separate video about it because it's not really pertaining specifically to the Air 2S. But to access it, it is pretty easy. You go to album. You can see we get this new icon at the top. You can see here it will display a QR code. And then what you have to do is open up the Fly app on whatever device you want to transfer content to, a smartphone or a tablet. Go to albums. And there's an option there which you can scan the QR code and that will connect the two together. I will be making a full video demonstrating that here coming up shortly. So yeah, some pretty exciting news. I know a lot of people have been waiting for compatibility of the Air 2S and the DJI RC. After all, it is a great little remote. It's fairly inexpensive. Definitely a lot cheaper than buying something like the RC Pro. For the most part, the screen brightness is adequate, 700 nits. A nice all-in-one device it makes it quick and easy to deploy your drone. You don't have to worry about connecting a phone. It's really lightweight, fairly compact, so it does make a good travel controller as well. That's basically it for this video. I do hope to get out later and do a test flight with it. I will make a video about that, probably upload that later today or tomorrow, depending on the weather. It's pouring rain out right now, but it is supposed to clear up this afternoon. 
So uh, we'll see how that goes. Anyways, folks, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. It's greatly appreciated. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you found it had value. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.